Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Hello, hello. All right. Are we ready? Yes, we are ready. We are ready. <laughs> nice. Okay. What day is today? Thursday. Thursday. That's right. Thursday, May. Well. May 12. 12, that's right, 2022. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. What was the topic from yesterday class? Double yes, check. Yes, uh -huh. yesterday's class, the topic was? Do, does. Uh -huh. The auxiliary is do and does. To make questions, yes, no questions, right? And short sure answers. Sure answers, exactly. Do is for what subjects? Uh, you, we, and they. They, that's right. And does is for he, she, it. He, she, it. All right. Nice. That's awesome. Incredible. Let's check who connected today to class. Let me get the attendance list. Here I have it. Let me just change the account, the right account. And two, three. In the meantime, everybody's connecting here. In, oh, this is almost the second week completed. <laughs> double, double check. Today is Thursday, Thursday, May 12th. There we go. Norma. Is Norma here? Not yet. Celia. Present. Hi. Claudia. Present. Hi. Hi. Concepcion, Marina. Present. Hello. Hello. Damaris, Eunice. No, not yet. No yet. All right, El Similagro. Present teacher. Hello. Hello. Alexander. Not today. It is Liliana. Not today, not yet. Joanna Michelle. Present. Hi. Juan Ramon. Hi, Juan Ramon. Not connected yet. Judith and Amin. Miss Judith. I think I saw her. Hi. The volume of the microphone, yes. Hello. Carla Sofia. Present. Hello. Lisette Amarili. Lisette. Are you here? Not yet. Marcela? Marcela Maria? Present, present. <laughs> okay, Mariana Rocío? Not yet. Marina Yancy? Present. Hello. Hello. Luna Lisette? Present. Hello. Hello. Monica. Hello. 
Monica? Oh no. Not here, Monica. Not possible. <laughs> okay, Tania. Tania Carolina. Absent. And Raquel. Present. Okay. All right. Okay. I think you already got the idea. Oh, Amarile says Hi. present. Hi. Present. <laughs> okay, Amarile. Let me change here the attendance. Okay, here we go. Okay. Uh huh. Let's try on the chat. Okay, in the morning at 7 a.m. No me digan, solo escriban qué es lo que ustedes hacen. Okay? At 7 a.m. I go to work, I get up, I prepare breakfast. ¿Qué es lo que hacen at 7 a.m.? Vamos a ver. Así, la oración completa. I go to work, I get up, I take a shower. Vamos a ver qué, qué hacen. Ajá, I take a shower. At 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. Ajá, no todos hacemos lo mismo en esta hora. Because at 7 I go to work. Yes. Ajá, uh -huh. I get up. I get lucky. At 7 I am driving to work. Okay. <laughs> nice. What else? Mm -hmm. I do exercise. I go running. Ajá, uh -huh. I get up and take a shower. Uh -huh. I cook breakfast, I take my children to school, I go to work, I get up, uh -huh. what else? At 7 a.m., what do you do at 7 a.m.? I drink coffee, I have breakfast. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. I go to my work. I check emails, no sé si están working at seven. Ajá, puede ser el caso de otro, pero tal vez no es de ustedes. Ajá, I eat my breakfast. What else, what else? I get up to make coffee and breakfast. Ajá, nice. Ya, yeah, estuvo at 7 a.m., ya no más at 7 a.m. Now at, let's see. At 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Uh -huh. At 1 p.m. I sleep. <laughs> I take a nap. Lucky you. <laughs> I take a nap. I sleep. I recharge the battery. <laughs> I am having lunch, all right? I have lunch at one. I eat my lunch. Uh huh. What else? At 1 p.m. I send messages. I answer the phone. I prepare lunch. I go shopping. No sé. What do you do at 1 p.m.? <laughs> okay. I have lunch. I'm driving. I eat my lunch. Okay. So you eat lunch at 1. Wow. We usually eat lunch at 12. Yes. Uh-huh. Bye. What do you usually do at just yes, the I serve my client. <laughs> okay, yes, do at 1 p.m. Now let's see at 4 p.m. Uh -huh. I finish work. I have meetings. I drive to my house. I go home. I go to the gym. I do exercise, ajá, at four. El dilema los dejé ya, vean. <laughs> Van a saber qué hago a las four. Ajá. What do you usually do at four? I go home. I check emails. 
I do my things at four. Uh -huh. My personal things. It's all right. Uh -huh. I visit my best friend and drink Coca-Cola. <laughs> I check my tasks at work. I check my agenda for the next day. Uh -huh. I visit the hospital. Uh -huh. What else? Okay. Uh -huh. What else? Okay, I check the messages. I check messages. Uh -huh. At four. What do you usually do? What do you usually do? Yes, at four p.m. I drive. I go shopping. I play soccer. <laughs> I go running. I take my dog out. Uh huh. I call my mom. Oh, I usually call my mom at seven. I take class at the university. I prepare dinner. Mm -hmm. All right. Now at 7, 7 p.m. No more at 4, at 7 p.m. What do you do at 7 p.m.? I watch TV. I relax. I do yoga. I read a book. I prepare documents. <laughs> I make dinner. Uh -huh. I enjoy. <laughs> I watch TV. I check social media. I drink coffee with bread. Uh huh. What else? Uh -huh. What do you do at 7 p.m.? What do you usually do? I do exercise. Uh -huh. I help my children with their homework. <laughs> All right. I am having dinner. I have dinner at 7 p.m. About 7 p.m. I usually, yes, call my mom or check messages. That's right. Okay. I have dinner. I water the plants. That's nice. If it doesn't rain, if it rains, it's okay. <laughs> I don't. Uh -huh. I take my dog out for a walk. Yes. I practice. I complete the exercises on the platform. <laughs> okay. I walk my pets. That's good. Well, these are some of the activities that you do at different times of the day and those are part of your daily routines okay so you already have some ideas you already know what you usually do we have been talking yes about daily routines so let me just get to my presentation yes and we are gonna share the screen to see the presentation. Okay, thank you for your participation. A big round of applause for everybody. Okay, let's share the presentation. All right, here we go. Okay, today is our class, our video conference class number eight. Eight, <laughs> all right. So the topic is daily routines, activities, practice. Today is Thursday, May 12th of 2021, no, 2022, I'm sorry. My typo, my mistake, my bad. I'm thinking about last year. All right. So the class objective, Miss Jancy Sandoval, please. Hi, mm -hmm. um, at the end of this session, participants will be able to talk about daily routines. That's right. At the end of this session, participants will be able to talk about daily routines. This is what I was saying, to describe the different activities that we do along the day, right? So to talk about, to be able to talk about daily routines. All right. 
And of course, daily routine activities practice. For daily routine, for habits, okay? For true in the present, okay? So these are the use of the simple present. True in the present, he works on Wall Street. She is 60 years old. We live in New York, of course. You can say, he works at, and you say the name of the company. She is 30, 40, 35, 50 years old. We live in New York. No, we don't live in New York. We live in El Salvador. Habits. I always drink coffee at work. She gets up at 7 a.m. every day. They usually eat dinner at home. Okay, for general truth or general facts, the earth is not flat, the sun rises in the east, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. And for future, but timetables for schedules, right? Say my train arrives tomorrow, we fly to Paris on Monday, classes begin next week. So these are the four uses of the present simple or the simple present. But in this occasion, we are using the present simple to describe daily activities, okay? Daily routines. All right. For example, we have these questions. What do you do during the day? In the morning, I go to work. Uh -huh. I have breakfast. I take my children to school. I take a shower. Okay, so what time, that is when you want to be more specific, what time do you take a shower? What time do you get up? What time do you have breakfast? What time do you get to work? What time do you start work? Yes, so these are some of the possible questions, okay, that you can listen when you are supposed to talk about your daily routines. Because people don't usually tell you like, Tell me about your daily routine or describe your daily routine. People probably will ask you this question. What do you do during the day? What time do you finish work? What time do you go to work? What time do you get home? What time do you have lunch? Yes? All right, so these are some of the possible questions, okay? And of course, daily routines, vocabulary practice. One of my daily routine is, I always get up at 5 a.m. in the morning, I do exercise, I take a shower, I prepare breakfast, okay? I always have lunch at 12, okay, in the morning I take a shower before I go to work, I wake up at 7 a.m., I wake up at, or get up. Wake up, despertarse, get up, es levantarse, okay? Some people say, oh, I wake up at 5, but I get up at 5.30. Se quedan ahí half an hour relaxed but don't sleep again because if i stay in bed i sleep again okay <laughs> i wash my hands three times a day so this is one habit i usually have breakfast okay i think we wash our hands more than three times a day actually we wash our hands many times now because of the pandemic i usually have breakfast at 8 a.m well, i usually have lunch at one as you were saying right yes Questions? No questions? No? Sure? Vaya, vaya, a ver si siento que no questions. Solo es como tratar de describir las acciones que usualmente hacen y a la hora que las hacen. Yes? Siempre se inicia con I. Porque está hablando de usted y la actividad que usted hace, sí. Estamos hablando okay. de primera persona, yo. Ya. Yes. Ok, esto es bien importante. La pregunta que acaba de hacer Milagro. En español nosotros decimos, me levanto. ¿Sí? No usamos yo, me levanto. Porque en español existe algo que es el sujeto tácito, que ya se sobreentiende que estoy hablando de yo. ¿Sí? Pero, en inglés, debe, así, must, obligatoriamente, Todas las oraciones iniciar con un sujeto. ¿Yes? 
no se puede omitir el sujeto. Aunque ya se sobreentiende que yo, 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 usted puede decir, ay, que suena bien repetitivo. Pero así es. Yes. Okay. I get up, I go to work, I have breakfast. Porque no puede haber una oración que inicie con el verbo, sino que debe iniciar con el sujeto. Y como yo le estoy diciendo, describa los hábitos o la rutina diaria. Entonces usted dice siempre, ay, 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 ay. Y ahí jamás le va a olvidar el ay. Okay. <risa> y el I también dijimos que siempre en forma escrita es con capital letter. No se puede escribir en minúsculas. Okay. So, vamos a ver. Le cuentan a su partner qué es lo que usualmente hacen en un día. Eso ya lo habíamos practicado, así que este es un repaso. Okay. Si no se recuerda cómo decir, por ejemplo, mmm, Saco a pasear a mi, a mi perro. Entonces usted pregunte, how do you say a los partners que están en su grupo? How do you say saco a pasear a mi perro? Y más de alguno le tiene que decir, take my dog out for a walk. Or I walk my dog. Cualquier otra forma está bien. O cualquier otra situación que usted no esté como muy claro cómo se dice. Traten de comunicarse entre ustedes para que se apoyen y así podamos como enriquecer nuestro vocabulary. Clear. Clear. All right. Here we go. Ayer me ayudó bastante. Gracias. Pregunta. gracias. Vamos a ir poniendo. Me, me sube la autoestima. <risa> vamos a ir poniendo la hora en la que hacemos las actividades o solo vamos a decir lo que vamos haciendo durante el día. Yo creo que como le salga mejor. Creo que así de las dos formas lo podemos hacer. Uh -huh. Ajá, como mezclar, la verdad, algunas con horas uh -huh. y otras sin horas. Uh -huh. Entonces. Ay, pero yo escribirla, pues. Yo también. Bueno, bueno ah, es necesario pero que yo. las tengan escritas antes. Las pueden ir diciendo y a la vez ir la, irlas escribiendo. Si no, si no es necesario que las tengan escritas. Ahorita solo es just conversation. Yes? Okay. Oh. All right. Ok. I wait up at 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. I wake up at six and a half a.m. Then I go to the, see my plants, speak with my plants <laughs> and with my dog. And then I take a shower at seven, seven and a half a.m. And then I I wash my teeth. I and then I go to my work sometimes mm -hmm. at a or a and a half I am. The, um, class um, the university. Um, what time? What time what, do you go time? to the university? What time? Do do, do you go? Do you to go to university? university. Mm -hmm. Vaya. Eso. Le consulto, le consulto que a, a qué hora va a la universidad. Um, I go night a copy coffee and eat toast and luego pues igual de en el almuerzo como se dice en, en el la no el, es al mediodía sería the afternoon verdad sí. at 12 exactly it's at noon after uh -huh. 12 is afternoon Afternoon. Mm. Ah, ok, ok. Gracias. Yeah, no problem. 
Entonces, in the noon, I driving. Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> y luego, pues, quiero ver qué más hago normalmente. I check emails. También a esa hora. Eh, quiero ver. Have a meeting. Perdón. Have, have a meeting. Meeting. Mi, ajá, la palabra de atender, no me recuerdo. Parece que es super, super meeting, algo así, creo que dijo. Eh, vaya, en Tuela Club, I have my lunch. Eh, I go to bank in the afternoon, maybe two, maybe two or three. Eh, eh, I have break in the four. Uh, for um, five minutes. Um, I'm playing. I'm playing soccer today. I'm playing soccer in the the six the six o'clock. And the seven, I go to home. And in the eight, uh, I have my class, my English class. To, to ten, I sleeping in the eleven o'clock. I finish my day, maybe, <laughs> maybe I finish. <laughs> Very busy. <laughs> yes, yes. Sí, sí, yo. Okay, le pregunto yo. Ajá. Voy a ver si puedo preguntarle. What do you do in the day? Así es. Um, sí. Puede ser. Ok. Bueno, I wake up eh, at the six o'clock. Um, I take a... Mi rutina diaria, diaria creo que es, Dali. ¿Tarea? No, como mi rutina diaria, para decir ah. mi rutina diaria. Daily. Es lo que estaba en el título, ¿verdad? Ajá, Daily. Uh -huh. Daily. Daily. Mm -hmm. ah, my, one of my daily routine is mm -hmm. I take a shower at 6 a.m. I make a breakfast. And I go to the work at the 7 a.m. And I check emails. I always answer call, attend customer, I check uh, emails, um, make, a, make a copy, I eat my lunch, um, de ahí quiero ver qué más hago. <laughs> Vamos, veamos, veamos. The, no, este, da, um, no. I travel by, by bus. Uh, in, I go to my house. Cuando caminando un montón. ¿Cómo se diría que ando caminando un montón? Well, vamos a ver. Quiero ver caminando. I walk. I walk a lot. Walking. Ah, I'm walking, I walk. pero si la acción la estuviera realizando en este momento. Ah. Pero como generalmente lo hace, es como un hábito, entonces I walk a lot. I walk a, a lot. lot. I usually um, walk a lot. Sí, porque al final son como 10.000 a 15.000 pasos diarios. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's a lot, definitely. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. I walk. I walk. I 
Done. It's over. Aha. Uh -huh. Finish. Yes. Yes, finish the activity. Finish. All right. Okay. Vamos a esperar que no regrese a todos. Let's wait. <laughs> Some people stay in the breakout rooms. So people are still talking, probably. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. They won't return. Oh, they are coming, you see? <laughs> okay. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to the main session. <laughs> Did you finish the activity? Finish. Yes. All right. What's the time enough? Okay. Veamos. Let's start. Vamos a empezar con Miss Norma. Hello, Miss Norma. Are you there? Hello. She's not there. Morning. My day is busy. I mm. see. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Pero me tiene que contar algo de su partner. ¿Quién era su partner? Mm. ¿Con quién trabajó? With Ever y Carla. With Ever y Carla. Ok. ¿Me quiere contar algo de alguno de ellos? Algo ok. Yes. Carla, she say she, um, she take the shower in the six. Um, she takes a shower she, at 6 a.m. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. She goes to work the 7 o'clock. She goes to work at 7 o'clock. Uh -huh. she, she has some Sontai activities diverse activities diversas como different. podría decirlo. She has different, different activities. She say different activities. Okay. Um, she say in the morning check emails. She checks emails. Uh, yes, and um, message. Messages. Um, uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. She has the lunch at 12 o'clock. She has lunch at 12. 12. 12, 12 o'clock. Uh, All right. Um, she say, um, um, finish the work at 5. She finishes work at 5. At 5, yes. Ah, quiero ver. That's good. <laughs> Excellent. You have good memory. You see, okay. Carla, Miss Norma pays attention. <laughs> yes. A lot of attention. Yes, I see. Okay. Now, Carla, you want to tell me something about any of your partners? Mm, eh, bueno, de, eh, no, bueno, de cualquiera de los dos. Yes, any. Bueno, Eve de Eve. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, he tell he he tell a manager. He is a manager. manager. Uh huh. Uh, bueno, in the morning take a shower. He and takes then, a shower. And then is the um, drive to work. He drives to work. Mm -hmm. And he he ¿cómo se debe platicar? <laughs> he talks. Uh, he talks. He talks. His work is very hard. Oh, he says his work is he very said, hard. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He says his work is very hard. Uh -huh. And luego se cortó. 
<laughs> and then his communication was interrupted. <laughs> and then his signal failed. <laughs> oh no, really. About the Norma, uh -huh. uh, she wake up at 3 a.m. At 6 or at 3? No, 3. At 3 a.m. 3 a.m. Mm -hmm. uh, and go to the he, her work at 5 o'clock. Very early. And yeah. eat the breakfast at 7. She eats breakfast at 7. Uh -huh. uh, and her work, she checks mails, uh, have a meeting. Uh -huh. and, and take a break of five minutes. <laughs> Takes five minutes break. Oh my god. In the evening? Only five in minutes afternoon. in the afternoon. Wow. Miss Norma has to be an inspiration for everybody here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> she gets up at 3 a.m. Imagine, and she yes. takes five minutes break. Jesus Christ. Only for the coffee. <laughs> Only for the coffee. <laughs> Excellent. Perfect. Good job. <laughs> okay. Nice. Okay. Give a round of applause to these people who participated. Very good. Let's see. We're going to choose somebody else. This time we're going to listen to Miss Concepcion Marina. <laughs> she has a new house. New house. Yes. New pantalla. New pantalla. <laughs> new screen. Same. <laughs> Okay, new background. <laughs> All right, tell us. My partner is Monica. Okay, tell me about She goes to the, she say, I go to the university. She goes to university. In the morning. Uh -huh. At uh, 9 a.m., she stay in class. Uh -huh. Then she, she go to the work. She goes to work. Uh -huh. She go to work. Um, only. <laughs> That's all. She goes to university and then she goes to work. <laughs> hey, Monica, you need to speak more. <laughs> Muy fácil se la dejo a Concepción. <laughs> all right. Ah, uh, Monica. Monica, where are you? Monica. She she left already. <laughs> Mónica se retiró, quizá. Mónica, where did you go? Oh my God. Connection problems. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cloud, who was your partner? My partner is Marcela. All right. Tell me about Marcela. She get up, gets up at 6, 6.30. Mm -hmm. And then she, she water her plants and, mm -hmm. talk, and talk to them. And talks to them. Actually, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you talk to the plants, the plants grow beautiful and give flowers. If you and don't then, talk to them, they are sad. And then she takes a shower and brush her teeth. Uh, brushes her teeth. Brushes. Yes, she brushes her teeth. Mm -hmm. And then she she goes to her work at five, at eight eight thirty. Oh God, and she has nice schedule. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and mm -hmm. she takes a coke for, for breakfast. Oh, yeah, she <laughs> told us the uh, other day that she drinks coke for breakfast. <laughs> Very healthy. <laughs> I know somebody she, doesn't want to listen to that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm terrible. I know. <laughs> then? And she works 
from Monday to Saturday. And only that. That's all. Nice. How about Claudia, Marcela? You remember? Yes. Um, Claudia wake up at six at six and a.m. Mm -hmm. uh, then take no. Then uh, make a juice. She makes juice. Pineapple oh juice. <laughs> Saludable. <laughs> Very healthy. <laughs> on the contrary, on the opposite, Claudia makes yeah. herself some juice. <laughs> uh -huh. Then she takes a shower at 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. And then she goes to the work. Mm -hmm. I she take a bus to go to work. To go to work. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Only that. <laughs> That's all. All right. Nice. Very good. Very creative. All right. Somebody wants to participate? Uh -huh. No democracy. <laughs> all right. Raise your hand. Say, yes, I remember my partner. Oh. You like to hear your names. I know Miss Elia wants to participate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> I don't remember, but <laughs> me was, and I have uh, five <laughs> items. I, uh, she get up at 6 p.m. At 6 a.m. She gets up at 6 a.m. Uh -huh. um, she goes to work at 7. She goes to work at 7. And at <laughs> noon. That's it. Yes. All right, Miss Milna, do you remember about Miss Elia? She she take a shower at six a.m. She has a breakfast at 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. She go to work seven uh, five minutes. <laughs> seven and five minutes. <laughs> All right. Uh, she check email in the work. Mm -hmm. um, in the afternoon, she visit her friend. Nice. Um, and talk. <laughs> 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 she waters the plants. <laughs> yeah. uh, no more. That's all. Okay, nice. Very good. I don't know where those claps for any. The big round of applause. <laughs> ah, yeah, but it's <laughs> nice. Okay, good. Good. Uh huh. Somebody else? No more? That's all? No veo manita levantar. <laughs> Raise your hand. Si no han participado. If you want to participate. No. Okay. Fine. All right. <laughs> Let's continue, don't worry. Te amos. Tenemos algunos examples, okay? My daily routine. Okay. Ven que coincidan los, las fotitos con las expresiones que dice ahí. ¿Coincide o no coincide? No. No. <laughs> no, teacher, eso está incorrecto. No. <laughs> ah, please tell me the correct answers. Uh -huh. I, br I brush my teeth, eh, según la imagen. 
Ajá. Entonces sería como algo así. Exactly. La primera okay. con la segunda. I go to work. No. I get up. I get up. I get up. I get up. Ajá. Algo así. Ok. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Go to work. The second. The third, the third one. I go to work. Ajá. Uh -huh. I have breakfast. I have breakfast. Really and coffee. coffee. <laughs> uh -huh. And I get dressed. This one. See you. Dress. Get dressed. ¿Cuál sería la imagen? No tenemos la imagen de get dressed porque es el vestirse. Sería entonces la tercera. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I go to work. The last I get to work if you are a teacher, right? Vaya. Me voy a borrar todo otra vez. <laughs> so, number one, we say, la primera picture fue hacer mí. I get up. I, uh, I get I, up. I get, I get up. up. Uh -huh. Second picture. I brush my teeth. I brush my teeth. I brush my teeth. The next one. I go to, go to work. work. I go to work. I, no, I get dressed. I get dressed. I get dressed. I get. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Next oh. picture. I have, I, have I have breakfast. I have breakfast. I have a big coffee for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one. I go, I go to work. work. I go to work. All right. Okay. okay. Nice. That is in the morning. Okay. In the morning. In the morning. Uh -huh. In the afternoon. <laughs> uh -huh. I have lunch. I have a lunch. I have a lunch. I have I lunch. lunch. Esa sería la primera. Yes? Yes. 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 I have lunch. The next one. I study uh, and do and I do my homework. I study and do my homework. Uh -huh. I listen to the music. I listen to music. And I do exercise. I do exercise. I do exercise. I do exercise. All right. Nice. No. And in the evening, I take a shower. I take a shower or I have a shower. Oh, I have a I have I have I have I cook dinner I cook dinner at dinner. night mm -hmm. I watch series I go to bed <laughs> I watch series I watch series, <laughs> I watch series. Uh -huh. I have dinner I have dinner. I have dinner. I have dinner. I go to bed. I go to bed. I go to bed. That's I right. Go to bed. Yes. My favorite part. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> My favorite part of the day. Okay. Good. Let's see. I think it's hidden in here. Okay. So these are some other activities that you can do. Play video games, play a game, go shopping, surf the internet, listen to music, watch TV, practice sports, right? Some more activities, all right? Mm -hmm. Give me one second. I just need to open this. I need to open the file I have right here. One minute. Please. Okay. Here we are. Vamos a ver las exercises que tenemos en el manual. Okay. So. Mira la página donde nos quedamos ayer. Please. One minute. No, if you listen, somebody snoring is my dog. <laughs> okay. All right.
A ver, creo que tenemos una conversación. Daily routines. Oh, yes, here. All right. No sé si recuerdan ustedes la conversación que hicimos ayer de la secretary, the new secretary. Yes? yes. Do you remember? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. yes. Listen to yes. the teacher in the conversation, la practicamos, bla, bla, bla. Pero uh -huh. después acá había como un cuadrito que llenar, ¿sí? Sobre las actividades que hace que happy. So, on Tuesday, on Monday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday, on Saturday, on Sunday. Obviously, no sabemos qué hace on the weekends, porque on the weekends, she's not working, right? So, vamos a hacer eso. Vamos a escribir tal cual. Si ustedes ya tienen el manual, pues escriben ahí, y si no, pues tomen nota en algún otro notebook, ok? Ok, so, vamos a leer nuevamente la conversación. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Fine, I have many things to do this week, but Kathy is very busy. Really? Who is that? The new secretary, her schedule is very tight. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Later, she writes reports about the production. And what does she do the other days? On Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper. And on Friday, she arranges meetings. Entonces, ahí van a ir ustedes describiendo lo que hace en los diferentes días, of course. Esto lo van a corroborar, lo van a compartir con su partner, ¿ok? Of course, you are going to do this in the same groups. Let's see. Tenemos y people, no assign. Voy a los grupos. Or in the sign to number one. Phone call. She make Monday. She make phone calls. Mm, y Bright Report sería en Tuesday. <laughs> Thursday. Some emails. Some emails. En el martes, en Tuesday, perdón. En Wednesday, cuenten. Make, espérame, mi no, espérame. Make, Wednesday. Okay. Send some emails. Uh -huh. Escribir reporte. She Ajá. made me some calls. Ella Ajá. hace muchas llamadas. Uh -huh. And, And later, write report about the production. Uh -huh. Monday. Uh -huh. Monday. Wednesday, ¿qué es? 
¿Perdón? Miércoles. Miércoles. No dice que dice Tuesday. Tendría que ser she writes reports about the production. Pero eso es lunes siempre. Monday. No. Sería Monday. Ajá, Monday, Monday. Monday. No, Monday sería, I suppose, she makes many phone calls. Uh -huh. Later, is it? Después. Ajá, she, uh -huh, she writes reports about the production. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, yeah. para, que, para tener que diga que, que hace el Tuesday, tendría que ser she writes reports about the production. Uh -huh. Mm. No lo dice la conversación, pero Ajá, no lo dice dices... porque podría ser como que en la mañana ella Ajá, ella ella... más y después en el mismo día lo hace lo demás. Ajá, Ajá. Ajá. algo así entiendo. Porque dice... es aquí solamente hay, quiero ver cuál es Friday. Tres días menciona nada más. Uh -huh. Entonces sería Wednesday. She sends some emails to the bookkeeper. We don't know. Repetimos una vez cada uno. Todas. Bye. Yo solo tengo la duda. El, solo, hace, solo menciona lunes, miércoles y viernes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ok. okay. Y el viernes sería She makes arranges she arrange, meetings. Arranges, ah, arranges meeting. Okay. Ready. Okay. On one day she makes many phone calls and then she writes the report about the production. On Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper. And Friday, she arranges meeting. Otras actividades piensa que Katy hace en los días de la semana. Maybe uh, check emails. Tiene a hand los. Escribe reportes también, write reports. Write reports. Uh -huh. About the production. Ajá. Escribe reportes acerca de la producción. Y dice, when does she, she do the other day? Other day, ¿cómo, ¿qué quiere decir esto? ¿Y qué hace ella en otro día? Dice, ¿verdad? Así se lee. ¿En qué parte? Donde, dice después Janet. de donde dice, después de donde dice que escribe los reportes de producción, Janet le contesta. ¿Hay cuántas she do other days? Ajá, ¿qué hace ella en otro día? ¿Qué hace ella en otro día? Dice, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y dice que en Wednesday ella sends some emails. Send Envía. Envía, envía algunos envía algunos correos, dice, ¿verdad? Sí, al, al, al contador, dice. El contador. Envía algunos correos al contador y, a, y el viernes. El viernes organiza reuniones. Ajá. Saturday. 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 And... En Sunday, she, she free. <ríe> oh, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo era? Eh, tenía en la imagen había una cosa como que hacía hobbies o algo, ¿verdad? Eh, Hobby. Ajá. No recuerdo. Homework. No, eso es tarea. No, <risa> no bueno. Sí. No, 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 pero sí, este, pues se hace diversas actividades, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo podríamos decir? No, 
no puede ser así, Dios mío. Bueno, igual. Vamos a ver, comenzando desde el, desde el lunes. Ah, en este caso, ¿qué, qué, 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 Katie. Katie. Uh -huh. Katie Routine. She does make many of call. calls. Letter. She writes letter. reports. Uh -huh. Letter. Reports. About report. Re, re, oh, no. About production. Okay. Podemos decir que es Monday and Tuesday. <laughs> Wednesday okay. and Thursday. Tuesday. She does send email. Does she send some emails to to the bookkeeper? And Friday, she does arrange 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 meetings. In weekend, Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. We can eat. All right, done. Yes, yes. All right, perfect. Yes, yes. Okay. So, Katie's daily routine. She's really busy, okay? What does she do on Monday? Uh -huh. Monday and Tuesday. <laughs> uh, Mondays and Tuesday? She does make many phone calls. Later, uh -huh. she writes reports about production. She makes many phone calls and she writes reports about Report. production. About All right, nice. Uh-huh, what about the other days? Wednesday. Wednesday. Uh-huh. Wednesday. What does she do on Wednesday? Wednesday and Wednesday. 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 And on yes. Friday, she arranges your meeting. She arranges meeting, right? Yeah, your meeting. That's yeah. true. <laughs> okay. What other activities do you think? What other activities do you think Katie does in other, on the other days? For example. She cleaned her house. Yes, probably. Mm -hmm. Probably. She cooks. Probably she cooks. Right. Uh -huh. What else? She goes to dry clean. She goes to the dry clean. Yeah, that's a possibility. Uh -huh. Take well, your nap. She takes a nap <laughs> because she's really tired. Uh -huh. <laughs> nice. Como like normal. Yes. <laughs> and she's happy because she takes a nap. <laughs> okay. Good. Nice. Okay. Let's continue. Here we have again. Example of affirmative and negative statements, but now with third person. Remember, I, you, we, they, 
do or don't. Okay, but he, she, it, does, does and doesn't. Okay. Affirmative, she makes many phone calls. Negative, she does she make. She doesn't make, make many, many phone calls. Many call phone yes. calls. He carries, carries boxes, boxes into the into truck. The truck. In negative, he doesn't, he doesn't carry um, boxes into the truck. Into he the doesn't truck. carry boxes into the truck. Doc. Cindy sends reports to oh. other companies. Cindy, does Cindy doesn't send reports yes. to the company. Exactly. Cindy doesn't send other reports company. to other companies. Other companies. It other helps companies. workers Works. be on time. It doesn't help it doesn't workers help work. be on time. It doesn't help workers to be on time. My boss talks about the new rules. My boss doesn't, My boss talk, doesn't talk about the about new rules. New rule. The new rules. All right. Vamos a hacer algo con este cuadrito. Esta es la instrucción. Vamos a estar en pairs. A la primera, una persona lee las afirmativas y la otra lee las negativas. A la segunda, una persona lee las afirmativas y la otra persona hace las negativas sin leerlas. No ven a hacer trampa. Sí, yo digo, por ejemplo, Celia works very hard. Lo único que le voy a agregar es el doesn't. Sin doesn't. Celia doesn't work very Sin hard. Sin doesn't. <laughs> no, she does, I know, solo un example. Okay. Entonces, es fácil. Usted preste atención a lo que la persona dijo en afirmativo y a la otra. Para decirlo en negativo, usted solo le agrega doesn't. ¿Estamos? Okay. Y ya no lleva ese el verbo. Voy a recrear los, los pairs para que, a ver, recreate. Acá en este número deberían de quedar en pairs. Y si no, pues ustedes se alteran. Caso de que alguien quede con dos más. Ok. Ok. <risa> ok, si quiere usted empiece lo positivo y yo lo negativo Va. Ok Perdón por la huella Bueno no She makes many phone calls She doesn't make many phone calls He carries boxes into the truck He doesn't carry boxes into the truck Cindy sends report to the other company. Cindy doesn't send reports to the other company. It helps workers be on time. He, it doesn't help workers be on time. Okay. My boss talks about the new rules. My boss doesn't tell about the new rules. Okay. Sería el revés, sí. okay. sin, sin <laughs> sí, claro. <laughs> Voy a tratar. Bye. She makes many phone calls. She doesn't make many calls. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
o a usted una positiva y una negativa, vea. Ah, intercalado. Uh -huh. Vaya. He carries boxes in, into the truck. He doesn't. Eh, unas preguntas que están ahí, o sea, vamos a preguntarlas. Las... Pero es que aquí no hay preguntas. O sea, lo vamos a decir en afirmativo, uno lo va a decir en afirmativo y la otra lo va a decir en negativo. Ah. Eso va a ser ah, leyendo. Ya, ya, ya. Después vamos a, uno lo va a decir en positivo y la otra sin ver lo va a responder en negativo. Ok. ¿Cuál quisiera usted? ¿Afirmative o negative? Negative. Ok, entonces. She makes many phone calls. She doesn't make many phone calls. He carry boxes into the truck. He doesn't carry boxes into the truck. Cindy sends report to the to other companies. Cindy doesn't send reports to other companies. It has workers being on time. It doesn't help workers, workers be on time. My boss talks about the new rules. My boss doesn't talk about the new rules. Okay, eh, ahora si gusta, lo hacemos al revés. Okay. She makes many phone calls. She doesn't make many phone calls. He carries boxes into the truck. He doesn't carry boxes into the truck. Cindy sends reports to other companies. Cindy doesn't send report to the to other company. It helps workers be on time. It doesn't help workers be on time. My boss talks about the new rules. My boss doesn't talk about the new rules. Okay. Ahora, sí. Cindy, Cindy doesn't send reports to the other companies. Very good. It helps work at the one time. It doesn't help the workers be on time. Mm. To help workers be on time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My boss talk about the new rules. The boss doesn't talk about the new rules. My boss, my doesn't, boss, talk. My boss doesn't talk about new rules. Yeah. You are affirmative now. Mm -hmm. She make many phone calls. Uh, she doesn't make many phone calls. He carries boxes, boxes into the truck. He doesn't carry boxes into the truck. Cindy sends reports to the other companies. Cindy doesn't send reports in the, to the other companies. Mm -hmm. It helps workers be on time. It doesn't help to work at the one time. My boss talks about the new rules. My boss doesn't talk about the new rules. And then she doesn't go to the bed early, como ya iba al dashing antes. Mm -hmm. Pero no estoy segura. She goes, she goes, she goes. She goes. To the bed. She doesn't. She doesn't to the bed. She doesn't go to the bed. Ah, she doesn't go to the bed. And she visit the bank. Uh huh. And she visit. No, she she does visit. 
the bank. ¿Verdad? Sería she visits. The bank. The bank. She doesn't. She take your shower. She doesn't your shower. He carries boxes into the truck. He carries dozen boxes. No. no, no, he carries boxes ah. into the truck. He doesn't carry boxes into the truck. Yes. Cindy sends report to the other companies. She um Cindy doesn't sell report to another company. It helps workers be on time. It doesn't help worker be on time. Okay. My boss talks about the new rules. My boss doesn't talk about to the new rules. About the new rules. About the new rules. Mm -hmm. Okay. Vamos al revés. Okay. She makes many phone calls. She doesn't make many phone calls. He carries boxes into the truck. He doesn't carry. Me equivoco en la palabra don't. Yo le digo don't y es don't, ¿verdad? Doesn't. Doesn't. Imagínese si yo le digo don't. Le digo dance y es doce. Lo voy a agregar aquí. Doce. Doce. Sí, tengo problemas con esta palabra yo. Bueno. Entonces sin ver ahora. Sin ver. Pero, ajá, hagámoslo. Usted, ¿cómo hacemos? Aquí que uno tiene que ver. Ajá. Correcto, bien. Comienzo entonces. <risa> Bye. She made many phone calls. She doesn't make many phone calls. <risa> calls. Uh -huh. vale. Ahora hago usted en negativo, perdón, en, en afirmativo y yo lo hago en negativo. Erika, lo perdí. <risa> en la segunda. He carries, he, carries, he carries boxes into the truck. Call. Se, se le olvida make. She ah, doesn't make. make. She uh -huh. doesn't make many from call. Ajá, uh -huh, cabal. Bueno, dijo he usted does. que había alguien más con nosotras, ¿verdad? Pero no. ¿Quién se, ya no, solo nosotras estamos. Sí. Ah, Entonces, okay. she doesn't many. No. She doesn't, she doesn't make many. Make many. <laughs> she doesn't make many. She doesn't make many from call. Ajá. Ahora yo le pregunto. She carries boxes in the truck. She doesn't care boxes on the truck. Creo que se me olvidó una palabra. She no, doesn't no. He doesn't carry boxer on the truck. Así es. Ajá, así es. Quiero ver. Into the truck, dice. Into. Into the truck. He doesn't carry. He doesn't carry into the truck. Ok. No, eh, hoy se me olvidó el, el, el box. Ah, y el das, el, el box se me olvidó. Sí. He doesn't. <laughs> She doesn't carry a boxer into the truck. The truck. She doesn't carry boxes in the truck. Mm -hmm. Ay, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. No se nos desenreda mucho la lengua todavía. <laughs> Vaya, le toca. Le toca. Vaya, Cindy Sam report to other company. She doesn't send report on the company. On the Eso. other company. On the other company. On the other company, uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
Vale, hoy le toca a usted preguntar. Sí, sí. It helps worker be on time. It doesn't help worker on the time. Ah, sí, correcto. I da, it doesn't help worker be on time. ¿Qué quiere decir esto? Ver. Esto ayuda. No. Estas ayudas. Como en el tiempo, no sé, algo así. Digamos, Estas ayudas trabajan en el tiempo, no. Mm. Quiero ver, veamos qué significa la, la palabra. Dos trabajadores. Ay, ¿qué dice? Ayudan todo el tiempo. No ayudan a los trabajadores a llegar a tiempo. Mm. Ayuda a los trabajadores a llegar a tiempo. La, la, la firma, tipo. Ah. Done. Finish. Challenge. <laughs> okay. See. Once again, the exercise. Here we go. All right. That was a lot of practice. She makes many phone calls. She doesn't make many phone calls, right? He carries boxes into the truck. He doesn't carry boxes into the truck. Cindy sends reports to other companies. Cindy doesn't send reports to the other companies. He helps workers to be on time. He doesn't help workers to be on time. My boss talks about the new rules. My boss doesn't talk about the new rules. Remember, to change the affirmative into the negative, solo agregamos el doesn't, en este caso, porque es tercera persona, justo entre el subject y el verb. That's all. Eso es todo lo que tienen que hacer. Okay. Ajá. Complete the sentence with the verbs in parentheses. Okay. Aquí, vean el verbo que hay en parentheses. Si solo está el verbo, pues la oración es afirmativa. Pero, si en paréntesis, aparte del verbo, también tienen el not, ¿eso qué significa? Negative. Que la sentencia es negativa. Exacto. Okay. Veamos. Solo déjenme pasar la attendance, una second time, porque si hay personas que se agregaron después de la attendance, Y luego trabajamos en ese exercise normal, se agregó. Yes. Damari. Eunice. Yeah. Damari, Damari. No. Ever. Yes. Brian, teacher. Yeah. Present. Iris. Está por ahí Iris. No. Juan Ramón. Yes. Mariana. Mariana, no, right? Monica, yes. Tania, yes. Present, Tania. Present, yes. Monica, present. Yes, por ahí está Monica. Y Mariana, no. Mayet. Iris, Liliana, tampoco. Y Damari, se unice. No. Ok. <laughs> Right, no problem. Por ahí vi que está escribiendo algunos que tienen problemas con la aplicación. Que los estaba sacando. A lot. Marcela me sacó su dice. 
Poor child. Sí. Bye. A lot of difficulties. Bueno, vamos a trabajar en el exercise que les acabo de mostrar, solo que podemos hacerlo en diferentes grupos, en grupos más pequeños. En we're gonna recreate. Yes. Okay. Affirmative or negative sentences. That's all. Sería He ordered every in the office. He orders. He orders. Ella ordena todo en la oficina. Ore. Ore. Orders. Orders. Uh -huh. Number two. Um, and Teresa uh, and Amy and Teresa ask for the ah, sería ask it ask, ¿verdad? ask for the porque the, termina en K, ¿verdad? ajá uh, no, pero es, es yeah, they ask. they ask Sí, sería as for the sin sin ese. Sin ese. ¿Cómo sería entonces? Yo creo que se lleva la, pero solo la una S. Yo no me acuerdo dónde anoté ayer, creo. Ajá, es que la a ver que si terminaba en K, o sea, yo me acuerdo que dijo ella. Pero es de ellos. Uh -huh. Sí, pero como no lo está negando, solo lo está como diciendo. Es afirmando, ¿no? Ajá. Significa. Le agregamos, le agregamos la S, entonces. Ajá. Uh -huh. Others. The others. Everything in the office. Le agregamos la S a la palabra others. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Bien, para que sea en plural. En present. En present. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero no lleva la E, ¿verdad? Solo la S. Uh -huh. No quiere S, que no sería. No, porque es. la regla decía. ¿Alguien más se acuerda? Por qué? Porque yo me acuerdo que esa regla era solo para Hichi It. Entonces creo que quizás Ash queda así sin agregar la, la S al final. Ash. Creo, Por... pero no estoy muy segura. Right, se modifica o no? Right. Pero acá no. No, no se mantiene. Right. Right. 
a list with the things we need at night. I write a list with the things we need, the things at, we need at night. A.M. Yo creo que no. Mario. Mario doesn't keep. Doesn't keep a record. Mario. Oh, yeah. Mario doesn't doesn't record on the machine on the, mer on the mer merchandise on the merchandise merchandise hey he buy buy buys con ese sí se con ese ajá Mario Dosen, pero es termina en Y. Sí, pero está. Precedida de una vocal, entonces creo que es una agregaré. vocal, ajá. Solo uh -huh. la S. Cuando es consonante es y es. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the first, I don't listen. Colin <laughs> doesn't talk. It's negative thing. He doesn't. Doesn't talk. He doesn't or doesn't call the design department on weekends. ¿O en cuál está hablando? En la primera. La en primera. La primera. Uh, he orders. He orders. Every orders. Orders everything yes. in the office. Orders. Everything he orders, the orders the everything in the office. Mm -hmm. He orders. Orders. Amy Andresa asks the signature for the signature. And number two, Amy and Teresa. Asking. Yes. Ask. Is plural? Ah? Ask. Sí. Yo creo que se mantiene. Se mantiene. O sea, ask. Es el plural. O no. No, yo creo que se mantiene así como tal cual. Ask. Por no estar en tercera persona. All right, let's check the exercise. Oh, hmm. Let's double check. He What is the number one? He orders. He orders, orders, right? Orders. With S. I'm sorry, I got everything in capital letter. <laughs> he 
he orders. He orders everything in the office. Number two, Amy and Teresa. Ask. 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 Normal, right? Because it's Amy and Teresa, it's they. As for the signatures every Friday. Helen. Doesn't call. Doesn't call. Doesn't call. Okay. Doesn't call. Doesn't call the design department on weekends. Number four, she cleans. She cleans. She cleans. Clean. She cleans right? Our desks in the morning. Okay. Okay. You shouldn't be number five. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with the numbers here. Okay. Again, I write. Right. But I write. Normal, right? Right. I write. No, I why? it's first person. It's not third person. I write a list with the things we need at 9 a.m. in Mario. 9 a.m. Doesn't keep. Doesn't keep. Uh -huh. Doesn't keep a record of the merchandise, merchandise. He, he buys. Buys. He buys. All right. Great. No questions up to here. No. No. <laughs> no questions. No, okay. No. Great. No, let it go because if not, it not match. Eso les queda como homework, como la conversación previa, pero solo que acá nosotros lo hicimos de forma verbal. ¿Se recuerdan cuando les decían hello? How are you? Um, bla, bla, bla. I have a question. No, no la habíamos hecho. La habíamos hecho parecida a la de la new secretary, right? Que decíamos los nombres reales. Ok. So if you want to create another one, you can create it. Yes? Pueden crear esa conversación pequeñita como que hace on the weekdays, on the weekends, right? That's fine. Vamos a avanzar y veamos. What does Oneida Chica do and doesn't do? Yes? Ricardo Mata and Max Pinto. For example, Oneida Chica creates softwares, repairs computers, computers and antivirus. installs antivirus, right? And, acuérdense, este es para ellas, para ambas. Okay, entonces, pero ella no hace pues, lo siguiente. She doesn't. Aquí so dice, dice don't, pero es porque si están ambas. O en general, que no lo hace. ¿Ok? Pero si solo estoy hablando de Oneida, yo diría she doesn't, doesn't. sell computer, computer programs. programs. And she doesn't exchange information about programs. Yes. Si digo de ambas, Oneida y Nelly, create software, repair computer, install antivirus. They but don't um, sell computer programs or they don't exchange information about programs, right? En el caso de Ricardo Mata, keep track on the sales. Okay, he keeps tracks on the sales. He writes reports. Right, writes reports. reports and by new, new merchandise. He buys new merchandise. And of course, he doesn't receive money from he sales. He doesn't receive money from sales and he doesn't decide what to decide buy. What to buy. Right. Pero si estoy hablando de ambos, ahí sería normal. En afirmativo no cambia. Y en negativo sería don't. They don't receive money for sales. They don't decide what to buy. Okay. Acá tenemos questions acerca de lo que ellos hacen o de lo que ellos no hacen. Ajá. Read the information again. 
Acá está. Y pregunta. Do Oneida y Nelly work with software? Yes. ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? Do Oneida y Nelly work with software? Yes. Yes. Yes, they do. 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 Ustedes lo pueden dejar hasta ahí, corto. Yes, they do. Punto. O yes, seguir do. dando they. más explicaciones. They work yes, with they computer software. So yes. Okay. Bye. Para que lo puedan trabajar estas questions acerca de la información, yo les voy a enviar la screenshot, pero... Creo que sí, se la voy a enviar separada porque no creo que quepa uno a solo. Déjenme ver. Déjenme check. Veamos. ¿The same partners? Okay. ¿Ya lo revisaron? Solo tengo una imagen. Ahí estoy descargando la segunda. Okay. 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 ok. Bueno, la primera ya la hicimos. <ríe> Bien, la segunda. Do Neida and Nelly sell antivirus? Que si trabajan, que se dice que si Oneida y, y Nelly trabajan en software. Entonces, a la otra sí. de las dos sería Do Neida y Nelly antivirus. Envían. Él quiere no, decir enviar. Me equivoqué. No, no, me equivoqué. Vender. Vender. Yo Ajá, puedo decir que sí. Ajá. Sí. Sí, Entonces, sería, sí. sería No, no, no. Ah. Tengo duda. <ríe> Porque dice install antivirus. Pero sí hacen eso. Porque sí instalan antivirus. Entonces sería yes, they do. Yes, they do. Uh -huh. Sí, ellas, ellas, ellas lo hacen. They do. Tú, Ricardo, en Max, get money from sales. No, they don't. No, they don't. They don't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Seguimos en la cuatro. Sí. Bueno, no sé, Judith, si ¿sí ha terminado la clase. Ya, ya, sí. Ah, vaya, entonces vamos por la cuatro. Mm -hmm. Do Ricardo en Max write reports. Yes. Ricardo, do Ricardo y Max escriben. Mm -hmm. Yes, they. Yes. Yes, don't. yes, he does. No. No, yes, they, he do. They do. Ah, es que está hablando de ellos siempre, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ajá, siempre están los Yes, do. they do. Uh -huh. 
Voy a ver cómo se escribe. Ricardo y Max le paran computer. No. Sería no, they don't. Uh -huh. Estamos en la cinco. Perdón. O en la cuatro. O en la, o en la cuatro. Hay tres cuatros. Sería en, en la última de la izquierda. Ajá. Bien. Do o do. No, they don't. O do they don't. O do they don't. Um, en Nelly, install program. En Nelly, está el program. Ajá, programs. Sería. Sería. Yes. 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 Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, they do. Yes. He do. She do. No, they, porque she como do. siempre está hablando de dos. Ah, they. Pero es que dice que installs antivirus. Do install antivirus. Mm. Install a uh, new. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. Okay. En la siguiente que sería to Ricardo and Max get uh -huh. money from sales. Veamos la imagen anterior. Mm. Tiene Tap on sales Sería No No they don't negativa uh -huh. no they don't no, no they no. don't y la cuarta ah. la tenemos afirmativa yes, yes they do they do a cinco no, no they, they don't, don't. Uh -huh. y la seis porque tiene cuatro también <ríe> Ajá, en serio. Yes, they do. Entonces nos va a enseñar a hacer la trenza, Carla. Ahorita, de The brown. Bread, bread. <laughs> bread, bread. <laughs> Me Teacher, how Bray. do you say trenza? Bray. 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 Yes. Bray. Yes. ¿Cómo se dice? B-R-A-I-D. Bray. Ah, es con B. Bray. Casi como bread, como pan, pero con Ajá. A. Bray. 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 She has a Bray. nice, beautiful braid. Mm -hmm. Bray. <laughs> <laughs> I can. Me neither. I used to. Yeah, I used to. Pero no, ya se me olvidó. Yeah, long time not practicing. Mm -hmm. Did you She finish? Said, yes, we did. Yes, yeah. yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. I, bueno, we did finish. Sería. Yeah, yes, we did. Porque did you finish? Ya habían terminado. Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. yes, we did. Oh, we finished. Ya yes, yes, yes. mm -hmm. okay. queremos el, el pasado. <laughs> <laughs>
Don. Okay, let's compare the answers. All right. Let's check. Let's check, check, check. Here. Do an identity work with software? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Con esto ya es suficiente, pero si ustedes quieren dar un poquito más de información, pues se dicen they work with software. software. Okay. Number two, do an aid and Nelly sell antivirus? Yes, yes, they do. Yes, they do. Uh -huh. Yes, they do. They sell antivirus. 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 I don't know if that's the plural of the virus. I think it has been pluralized already. Okay, number three. Do Ricardo and Max get money from sales? No, they not. Okay, here would be no. No, they, they not. They don't. don't. They don't. Uh huh. They get money from get money. They get the money from sales or they don't get the money from sales? Yes. They don't. They not. They don't. They don't get money okay. from sales. Sell. Yes, they don't. Do Ricardo and Max write reports? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. They write reports. They write reports. Reports. Yes. They write reports. Bye. Do Ricardo and Max repair computers? No, they no, don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. Mm -hmm. An explanation? No, they don't. Mm, they, they don't. don't. They don't what? Repair, right? Sorry. <laughs> repair. Computers. Prepare. Computers. Okay. They don't repair computers. People computers. Oh. They don't repair computers. They don't repair computers. Okay. Do Aneida and Nelly install programs? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. They, they, they programs. install programs. 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 Yes, they can. They install programs. They do. They install programs. They install programs. They install programs. Okay, questions? No questions. No questions. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Clear as the water. Clear as coffee. Okay. Aquí tiene más examples. The yes, no questions and short answers. Pero esto lo vamos a dejar para tomorrow. 
Si quieren ir avanzando, pues lo pueden hacer. Traten de ir formulando las questions. Este es el patrón. No es el patrón, es el mal. El pattern, pues, o sea, lo que hay que seguir como el, el auxiliar, el ver, perdón, el auxiliar, el sujeto, el verbo y el complemento. Así se estructura. Entonces, aquí se tiene you work company. Entonces, dice you es el sujeto, work es el verbo. ¿Y cuál es el auxiliar que necesito para you? ¿El do o el do? Do. El do, ¿verdad? Entonces, digo do you work in company. company. Yes? Y ya tengo la question. Si yo le quiero preguntar a alguien que si trabaja en alguna compañía, do you work in a company? O podría ser, si quiero ser más específico, dar el nombre de la company. Yes? Do you work in la bla, 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 company? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Entonces, trabajemos en esto para que vamos avanzando for tomorrow. Y ahorita vamos a corroborar el caso de la tendencia. A ver. Ya nadie más se agregó. Veamos Norma, Celia, Claudia, Concepción, Damaris. Solo bueno, duró Damaris, ¿verdad? Creo que Damaris era una de las que estaba reportando el problema de su app. El similaro, Ever, Iris. Iris le tocaría este día, pero no ah, bueno. está. Joana Michelle. Hello, Joana. También se nos fue. Gone. Eh. Vaya. <risa> Entonces veamos quién sigue Juan Ramón. Are you Hi. here? So you will stay for 10 minutes. Okay. All right. Then Judith, Carla, Lizette, Marcela, Mariana, no se logró conectar tampoco. And the rest, Marina, Mirna, Monica, Tania, and Raquel. Yes? That's it. Yes. Yeah. All right. Oh my God, people look very tired. <laughs> it's Thursday. We are tired. It's Thursday. Yes. yes. And it has been a very powerful right. week, right? Like every week, yes. And tomorrow is Friday, but tomorrow is our last class. Okay, relax. Activities for tomorrow. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> All Good. right. So. Juan Ramón, good day, and I see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Good night. God bless you. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Enjoy. Rest. Sleep. Good night. <laughs> good night. All right, Mr. Juan Ramón Escalante. <laughs> Your full name. Sí. Sí, do you have any question or something you want that I explain again? Mm, bueno, me cuesta un poco el, todo esto de los verbos. De, de la estructura. Tiene que llevar. Sí. sí. Los auxiliares. Ah, sí. Se me olvida un poco también las reglas o, o cuándo regla. aplica y cuándo no. Uh -huh. Ajá. Bueno. Eh, estamos como en el tiempo más básico, <ríe> el sí. tiempo presente simple, ¿sí? Estos son para escribir generalidades de algo que por lo general sucede, cosas que son costumbres, hábitos que tenemos, cosas que usualmente hacemos. Uh -huh. Entonces, por ejemplo, el hecho de que ah, yo vivo en tal lado, yo trabajo aquí como esto, me gusta eso, entonces son como cosas bien, podríamos decir, bien cotidianas, ¿verdad? Para eso nos sirve el simple present. Obviamente, no podemos usar nada más el, el tiempo presente simple solo para escribir lo que yo hago. Por eso es que se estudian las otras, digamos, personas, o sea, o los otros pronombres, los otros sujetos, porque igual de repente voy a necesitar describir lo que alguien más hace, ¿ya? Sí. Entonces ahí es donde entran las reglas de esto, de la tercera persona, que son las que mandan trabajo realmente. O sea, sí. 
Y sí es comprensible porque igual, todos los que hemos aprendido hemos tenido que estarle dando y dando hasta que se nos queda, ¿verdad? Que a la tercera persona le voy a agregar ese al verbo en la oración afirmativa, que el auxiliar no es el mismo para todos los sujetos, sino que yo generalmente los agrupo así. Are you with they, do, or don't? Ahí va a depender. Si quiero hacer una negativa, es don't. Si quiero hacer una question, do. ¿Sí? En he, she, it, does or doesn't. El does me sirve para hacer una question y el doesn't para hacer una negativa. ¿Sí? Porque no siempre estamos afirmando, a veces estamos negando o a veces estamos preguntando. Entonces, el, ¿Y el did. El did. El did es el para it el tiempo es, pasado. No, ajá, pero no es como para unas cosas, sino que también como acción. Puede Porque, ser, puede ser. Lo que pasa es que generalmente nosotros decimos, ah, todos son auxiliares y solo me va a servir para hacer preguntas o, o me va a servir. No. El, lo que pasa es que el do sí puede ser un auxiliar y la mayoría de veces es un auxiliar, pero también es el verbo hacer. Como sí. tiene dos personalidades, digamos. <risa> <risa> Por ejemplo, usted dice, yo hago tarea, entonces usted usa el verbo do, I do homework. Y ahí no está siendo usado como un auxiliar. ¿Y se puede usar el, el make en esa oración? O... Sí se puede usar, pero gramaticalmente o no semánticamente correcto. no es correcto. Ajá. Por ejemplo, el make se, usa, se utiliza más como para hacer cosas más tangibles. O sea, usted dice, I make this, um, this decoration. Yo creé esto, yo lo hice. Mm -hmm. O algo que fabricamos, por decir, I made this uh, table. Si usted es carpintero y construyó una mesa, ¿sí? Yes? O creó una mesa de, de madera. Entonces, ah, I made this table, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. O oh, I made a castle. O sea, yo, yo, yo creé un castillo de arena en la playa, por ejemplo, cuando uno va. Uh -huh. Entonces, por eso sí es más el made. De hecho, tienen como las diferentes categorías. Por ejemplo, si es construir una casa, ya es algo real, construir, entonces ya el verbo ya no es ni siquiera do or make, sino que es build, de construir, construct, uh -huh. right? Entonces es cuestión de los contextos. Por eso no, no podemos como generalizar, sino que de ir como acumulando, ¿verdad? Los verbos o el, el vocabulario en sí. En uh -huh. el caso de do, es un verbo realmente multifuncional, tiene un montón de, de sí, connotaciones, sí. ¿sí? Se ocupa para muchas cosas, sí. Sí, el do uh -huh. es realmente para varias, varias funciones. Entonces, en este caso, para el simple present, pues lo podemos utilizar para auxiliary de los sujetos a you we they, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Y en su forma negativa sería don't, pero uh -huh. siempre va a estar siendo utilizado como un auxiliar. Entonces significa que no es que solo se queda solo, sino que necesito auxiliar a otro verbo. Por ejemplo, si usted quiere decir, yo no trabajo en San Salvador, el verbo principal es trabajar, es work. Pero el auxiliar mm -hmm. es don't. No. Yeah? I don't work in San Salvador. Y siempre necesito el otro verbo, pero necesito el auxiliar también. Si no, no puedo hacer una oración negativa. De hecho, es como una regla bien común en inglés que en todos los tiempos se va a necesitar un auxiliar. Sí, eso va a depender si es presente, si es pasado, si es futuro. Pero no puedo decir solamente I no work. ¿Sí? Como en español. Yo no trabajo. Sino que necesito un auxiliar con el not. Ya contractado sería I don't. ¿No? Y eso es general, general para sí. todos los tiempos. Solo que van a depender. Sí. Ajá. Sí, es todo eso. Es confuso porque no lo he estudiado <ríe> así, tal cual. Ajá, es un Pero ahí vamos a ver, es cuestión de sí. práctica. También. Ajá, es cuestión de práctica, es cuestión de irlo acumulando. Ya después uno dice, ups, uno mismo se queda pensando, no lo deje bien. <ríe> creo que no sé, sí, el, ajá, creo que no sé el, el, el auxiliar correcto. O no lo puse en el orden correcto. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero, Pero por ejemplo, en, si le llego a decir a una persona que habla inglés, I no work, por ejemplo, él me entendería. 
sí le aunque esté mal dicho. Sí, sí le va a entender porque dijo el not. Aunque va a decir, ay, debe haber dicho I don't. <risa> sí, y es, sí, sí. Más, y es más que obvio que, que no lo habla correcto. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. Ah, aunque, bueno. vaya, ah, por ejemplo, me pasó que tuve la oportunidad de hacer un programa en Estados Unidos y me dicen que de hecho usaba como muy, muy formal todo porque todo lo hacía muy correctito. Entonces, hasta los mismos y es nativos, a veces uh -huh. que ya por, por default ¿verdad? o por molestar, no lo usan así tan, tan estructurado. Entonces me dicen, pero, where did you learn English? <risa> como se quedan como está sorprendido. Pero es porque uh -huh. pues, uno lo ha estudiado y uno se esfuerza por usarlo todo así, tal cual, ¿verdad? lo requiere la gramática. Igual nosotros no hablamos nuestro propio idioma así tan correcto. Sí. Eso suele pasar. Sí, porque sí me he dado cuenta también de que con el tiempo van como reduciendo el, cómo se expresan o las palabras, las sí, cambian. Sí, ahorita es súper informal. De hecho, el, el, como el style o, el que, o el, la forma de comunicarse que está como más in o más updated o más in fashion para los jóvenes, es un montón de cosas sí. que, ajá, es como acortar todo. Uh -huh. ajá, ellos tienden uh -huh. a acortar sí, mucho, por ejemplo, estas informalidades, de wanna, gonna, getcha, etc. Menos voy a entender. Sí, <risa> sí, sí. Pero sobre todo, ajá, la, la, la comunicación informal entre los jóvenes o en las redes sociales que también se, se, se tiende a, a deformar muchísimo. Bueno, mister, keep practicing. Sí, sí. Sí, hay que, hay que, ajá, hay, que buscar, hay que buscar, exacto, uh -huh. recursos, hay que resolver el ejercicio. Entre más se practica, más fácil de recordar porque más se graba. Sí, sí. Claro. Muchas gracias. Ok, good night. Bueno, nos vemos mañana. Blessings. Bye. Bye.